it's time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Happy October 3rd on a Tuesday. Welcome to Power Hour Live. Hope you are surviving the bloodbath. S&P down 62, NASDAQ down 280, Russell down two, uh, Russell down 30, Dow down 440. Gold and silver slightly red, notes and bonds down, 10-year yield up to 4.788. Oil slightly higher, natty gas up 4%, grains a little bit mixed. Euro in the pound slightly red, Bitcoin down a couple percent, and the VIX above 20. How about that? 20.08 hit a high today of 20.48. Just in the 12 handle, just a short couple weeks ago. All the way up above 20. So for zero DTE today, had a AM ratio that was a winner. Had a DKS, that was a small winner, and had a JSP that got stopped out after the stop was reduced, and then got smoked out of a duck. So those are my zero DTE for the day. So a little bit red coming into power hour. And for power hour, looks like five or 10 point wide strangle for tranche one. hold right here it'd be 10 wide it comes down might be closer to five Getting a little bounce off the bottom this SPX hit a low of 42.16 back at 42.28 Uh, Elliot, I haven't say I haven't uh, updated my plan for October yet, so I'm still doing the same from uh, September, which is 10, 16, 14. Need to buy some longs here. Got some puts left over that are got a little value in them. Guess I'll just use those for now for trunch. Number one. So it's looking like the 3020s right now. Give it another minute.
All right, 30 20s. 30 calls, 20 puts. I'm trying to get filled at 725. Filled at 725 on tranche one. We need some power hour pin action to end the day. That would, uh, that would certainly help. All right, so tranche one got filled at 725. So 435 is what I'm looking for for tranche one to reduce my stop. So the market no likey the jolts report. That's what kind of sent this thing off. I'm not sure what the report was. Don't really care, but it was right at the time that that came out, 9 a.m. Central, that this thing started heading south, broke through the expected move for the day, came back up, touched it, rolled back over to new lows, and now we're just kind of treading. Hopefully it got it all out of its system. I am in the 2030s, yep. Yeah, 10 years are exploding. <clears throat> 4.79TLT continuing to push push to new lows going back to let's see. Over 10 years.
Hope you got your mortgage locked in, boys and girls. We are, let's see where we're at here to date now. <clears throat> S&P was up over 20% year to date back in late July. Now it's only up 10.5% since January 1. NDX is still up 34% year to date. Was up as high as about 46.5%. Russell is red on the year by a little over 1%. And the Dow just went red for the year today. Gold just went red for the year. Silver is down almost 12% for the year. Bonds are down over 12%. Notes are down over 5%. 10 year yield is up 27.5% year to date. Oil's up 15%. Natty gas down 26. Bitcoin still up 64.5%. It just closed out a time fly at an <clears throat> exact scratch. It was trading now the October 13 one I just posted before we jumped on here. Got out of that for a scratch. It was trading around the downside break even. The one I just put on is already down below the, the center strike. Yeah, I'm going to do I'm going to kick back up my weekly recaps starting next week. I did the monthly one. It's in the Trader Chat channel. Got that done <clears throat> after the market closed yesterday. I've still got to put out my monthly trade plan for October. And I'll be back on track with the uh, weekly recap videos every Friday. That whole export issue was a uh, real pain. It's still going to be a pain downloading it from uh, uploading it from TD Ameritrade website because a it doesn't do futures options. So I have to do that manually and basically just imports all the legs. So there's a lot of manual sorting, but now that I've got that going, I can keep up with it every day. So it won't be too big of a project. I got out of two of three of my ES hedgehogs. With the three, I was up 3,200. I'm going to save my last one for the end of the week, see if I can squeeze some more out. I uh, closed one of our VXX trades and then re re uh, reopened a new one in the next cycle. And volatility has hence since spiked a little bit higher so down a couple hundred on that one 
we've got the one that's still in the October 20 cycle and it's down about nine, almost a thousand. So those could use some ball contraction. Got a duck in rut that's in the, uh, down in the duck head. Got a duck in SPX. That is into the duck head as well. Added a new duck in QQQ today. Got some short premium in the Qs. Got some short premium in IWM. Got some short premium in soybeans. Got a hedgehog in NASDAQ. It's working good. Some short premium in MES. Already rolled, rolled calls down in all those. Got a reverse hog in gold. It's pretty much break even. Got a short strangle in CL. Just rolled calls down in. Got a hedgehog in CL. Like I mentioned yesterday, I'd, you know, obviously with, vi with volatility spiking, you know, now is a pretty solid time to be selling premium, but I don't really want to load up anymore. I had, I already had a, a, I already have a decent amount on, so don't really want to add to it. So I'm just going to manage my current positions, but if I didn't have as much. I would be certainly adding to it. Yeah, they are holding on to the theta today a little bit. Makes sense to roll the lower IV credits. Not sure I understand what you're what you mean. If you could clarify. Got a little red bar coming in. Still got over five minutes until tranche two. Uh, are you talking about like on, on the short strangles? I'll wait till they get to 50% on the side before I roll. So like... Uh, MES, for example, you know, they're not even close to 50% because I've already rolled them. IWM's getting close. Get into those calls at 97. They're currently trading at 56, 58. So those are getting close, but I want it to be well over 50%. Before I uh, before I roll them in. 
either direction, QQQ. Yeah, I mean, I've already rolled calls down in all these. The dollar ninety. They are at buck twenty seven. So, yep. I will wait. Uh, Ken, on the time fly, it's it's if I get if price trades down near the downside break even. So yeah, I just scratched that one. So the losses usually come if I have to exit at like a 15%. Um, it's usually to the upside, unless I, you know, let's say it was hanging around that break even and I decided to hold it overnight and it gapped down even further and I ended up getting out for 15% loss, but that's it's usually to the upside. What do you get out at, Mauro? You scratch yours too? Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I could, could consider putting on another one here where price is positioned up here since price has already come down, but <clears throat> I'm just going to hold till tomorrow. I may, if price continues a little bit lower, I may add another time fly. All right, power hour tranche two. I'm going to buy some more longs. Um, opt for dollar. The other, the other thing to keep in mind, maybe this will kind of clarify in your, in your question as well. Remember if you're, when you're rolling, you're, you're, you're buying them back and you're selling the new ones. So yeah, the, the new ones that you're selling have higher credits because IV is higher, but you're also buying the other ones back at a higher price because IV is higher. You know what I mean? So I don't know if that was part of your thinking or not. All right, tranche number two looks like the 25s and the 15s. Twenty fives and fifteens. I'll give it just a little bit here. Try to get filled at six fifteen. Marshall, there we go. Fill the 615 on the 25 calls, 15 puts.
So 370 is what I'm looking for on tranche two to reduce stop. I do not have a TGIF. I haven't had a chance to get one on. After price bounced yesterday and vol contracted some, I could have probably, but. I do not. I've got half my six, seven. And then I put on a one, three and a one, two today. The one, three is already up. The one two is down about twenty bucks. My the remaining half of my six sevens up about twelve hundred. I got out of I got out of half my six seven at seven twenty. Currently trading at about 760. Tomorrow is one DTE on that one, so I'm gonna hold. See if we can't get a little more out of it. Tranche one trading down to 560. I need 435. Starting to get a little decay coming in now. So for tomorrow, tomorrow is Wednesday the 4th. So we've got ADP non-farm uh, non employment change pre-market. And then we've got ISM services PMI 30 minutes after the market opens. We've got FOMC member Bowman speaking at 9.25 a.m. Central. And FOMC member Goolsby, Austin Goolsby, speaking at 9.30 a.m. Central. Got to love the Fed. <clears throat> Let's 
Crunch one down to 520. Crunch two down to 545. Five minutes until tranche three. I agree, Ken. Austin Goolsby. Let's buy some more. Buy some more longs here. For tranche three, could be 15, 10 or 15 wide. Yeah, Powell used to be really good at pushing the market up. Now he's really good at pushing it down. The bears, the bears must have got to him. Bears must have gotten his pocket. Tranche one trading down to 480. I'm looking for 435 to reduce my stop. Am I going to put on tranche three first or am I going to reduce my stop on tranche one? It's a race. Four thirty five, there it is, reducing to seven thirty five. Tranch one one. All right, tranche three looks like the forty two thirties and the forty two twenties, ten wide. Now it's like I'm looking like the 3015s. Now it's looking like the 3020s. 30 20s going in. Four thirty-five. Filled at four thirty on the forty-two thirties and the forty-two twenties. All right, locked and loaded.
So the sweet spot's right between 42.20 and 42.25. Tranche 2 is trading at 4.75. I'm looking for 3.70 to reduce my stop. Yes, sir. Tranche one and three are the same. So, same price, same strikes, same stop. Could be good or bad. Tranche two down to four fifty five. I need three seventy. Four thirty five. Dickie K, are you playing Power Hour today? Tuesdays, you don't do it all. You don't do all tranches for Tuesday, I don't think, do you? Oh, just not three. Got it. How'd you fare today? Is there a DTE wise deck? Looks like any looks like anything put on. 
or 10 a.m. or later central. Looks like it should have been good. I didn't have anything in my plan that qualified. <clears throat> Oh, you got that. You got you profited on uh, JSPs, huh? I got stopped after I reduced my stop. All right, Trans Two is getting close. I'm looking for 370 to reduce it to 570. Looking for 370, currently trading at 390, 385. Back above four. Stop on tranche one and twos at 7.30 and 7.35. That spread's currently trading at 5.55. If we bounce back up a couple points, it should get down to Reducing tranche two, currently trading at four bucks. I need about 30 more cents to come out. Just a little poppy pop. Teensy teensy. Tiny two point pop.
380. There's 370. All right, changing my stop to 570. Tranche two. Got tranche one and two ratcheted down. All right, I'm ready to roll. 24 minutes till the bell. You did it, Uga. The little guy did it. NASDAQ down over 2%. <laughs> Very nice, Wuga. I have not tried that one. You know, it's, it's just, it's hard to find good help these days, Wuga. Sometimes you just got to man up and do it yourself. I mean, I don't, but other people do. All right, right at our sweet spot, 42, 22 and a half.
Dick K, do you clean your own uh, private jet? <laughs> He's got people for that. I mean, when you got a private jet, you got people for everything. I asked my wife to do that for me one time. She she didn't do it. Uh oh. Let's see a screenshot. Problem is, my uh, V pop says we're going to pop tomorrow too. Ooh, it's it's a ways out. Oh, never mind. Looked a little closer. Yeah, it's just it's closing outside. No, I'm going to go with you on this one. We need a, we need a good premium suck day. At one two seven, it's the it's the strongest of the bunch. So that's why that happened. Well, it was, the, it, was the, it was the Fibonacci throughout nature that is why that happened. <clears throat> All right, calm down. Calm down, Mr. SPX. Getting close to my stop on... Tranche two. Just got stopped out of tranche two. All right. So it's tranche one and three. Which are the same strikes. Anywhere between 20 and 30. If we're in good position. I'll go to the bell. If not, I'll close at five till. We got 15 minutes till the bell. My tranche two was uh, 25 15s. Yep, it got adjusted down. So we got in at 615, stopped for a small profit out at 555. About a 60, 65 cent profit.
VIX hovering right around that 20 level, 2015. Out of the buck, nice Kelvin. Ten minutes till the bell. Price creeping up towards 42.29. I talked about this in my monthly video, but if you haven't seen it, so for Power Hour last month, uh, let's see. So the biggest winner by far was tranche one of the 25, eight, almost 18,000 was tranche one. Tranche two was a negative 1300 on the month. Power hour ratio for the, uh, short squeeze days was a little over 9,000. And then tranche three was basically a scratch plus 120 bucks for the month. Tranche one making a comeback. Only a 49% win rate for power hour for September. Across all tranches. So I just, I guess I just had the one uh, ratio iron condor that was good for 9,000. Just one short squeeze day. Tranche one had a 55 and a half percent win rate. Tranche two had a 42% win rate. Tranche three, that was basically a scratch, had a 47% win rate.
Yeah, it was the 25, 25, 8 was the total power hour. All right, six minutes till the bell. Looks like it's in a good spot to ride. Better break out my heart heart rate monitor. Sitting at uh, 74 beats per minute currently. There's a lot of juice left here. A lot of premium left. Crunch twos trading at a buck. Now oh, they're both the same. Both of them are trading at about a buck. Nice, Meech. All right, we got a five point buffer on each side, Elliot. Who else is riding? Ken, Ken, you're riding with some. Dick K is riding. Let's go. PT, Leo. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, I better change my limit orders. All right, 70 cents. Rick did not set up today. Two minutes. Two minutes for 70 cents.
We're getting down to a five cent bid on the 20s. One minute to go. 70, I'm at 70 beats per minute. No stress on this one so far. So on tranche one, I got stopped out. So I made about 960 on tranche one, stopped for a profit. So 960 plus three, two, one pin. So 960 on tranche one. Whoa, <laughs> what was that little pop? Still pinned. 42, 29, 61. Uh, we better wait. We better wait to see this where, where this one settles. They better not give us a markup, but good enough. It pinned. So 13,270 plus 960. So about, about 14,000 for uh, power hour. Very nice. Elliot, 28K. Woo. Look at that. That deserves a clap. Nice job. All right, guys and gals. Good way to end the day. Hope everybody has a good night. And we will see you tomorrow. As far as the live stream tomorrow, let me pull up the calendar really quick here. So tomorrow is the fourth. All right, so we're streaming live in the morning at the market open both tomorrow and Thursday, and then we'll be back again for power hour. All right, all, take care. Have a good night.